I'm Deborah Borchart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. I'm reporting today from the Arcview Investor event in New York City. Green Market Report would like to thank them for allowing us to tape Marijuana Money at their event this week. Okay, on to the news. Constellation Brands wrote down its canopy growth investment to the tune of almost half a billion dollars. Constellation, which also owns Modelo Beer and Robert Mondavi Wines, said its share of equity losses from its roughly $4 billion investment came to $484 million. Canopy Growth wasn't crying any tears. They completed an all-cash transaction this week to purchase a majority stake in the sports nutrition company BioSteel Sports Nutrition Inc. The amount was not disclosed. This deal gives Canopy a significant entry into the sports drink category and lays the groundwork for them to sell CBD products in the U.S. The venture capital firm Canopy Rivers completed a $10 million investment into TerraSend. Gotham Green Partners invested an additional $20 million in Ianthus Capital Holdings. Through the purchase of senior secured convertible notes, it's part of a broader $100 million financing plan. Tilt Holdings has negotiated an agreement with six of its remaining founders regarding the immediate forfeiture of over 60 million stock options granted at the time of the merger. They said that adjusting for this forfeiture, their second quarter net loss of $48.9 million would have been almost entirely reduced, bringing the company close to break even. Fire and Flower Holdings reported its second fiscal quarter with total revenue of $11.1 million. That's versus 9.5 for the same time period in 2018. Their net loss was $6.4 million. High Tide announced their third fiscal quarter revenue was up by 281% to $8 million Canadian dollars. That's from $2 million Canadian last year. And 48 North Cannabis said that they made revenue of $4.8 million in their first full year but they had a net loss of $8.1 million. Don't feel too bad for them. They raised over $48 million in fiscal 2019. They got $52 million in cash on hand. Arizona-based DNA testing company Pathogen DX announced $7.5 million in Series B funding. And finally, Heavenly Rx acquired CBD company Pure Canna. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report.